sweet boys. Georgia gets really fussy when he's here. I'm so excited to have an actual entryway. This is the first time we've ever had that. This is my at-home office. We put clear glass doors, double doors on this because I get very claustrophobic and I love having like glass doors because even when the doors are shut, I don't feel like I'm completely alone. I don't feel like the walls are closing in on me. And this room is going to be all different shades of purples and grays because I really want my office to feel like kind of dark and sexy. And look at how big these closets are for storage, which is like the thing that I am so freaking excited about. Like, can you see how humongous this is? I could literally sleep in there. So much storage. This is our dining room, which is one of the rooms that we are the most excited about. As you can see, this back wall right here is a black tufted lacquer. Everyone thinks that it's squishy when they come in, but it's literally, it's like, it's extremely hard. It looks like it should be like a mattress. I know, see? So in the dining room, we put in coffered ceilings because I think these ceilings are so beautiful. I actually debated putting them in the entire house, but I thought that might be a little bit too much. So I just put them in the dining room and we are actually installing antique mirrors in every single square. And there's gonna be a chandelier hanging in the center. So for this room, we wanted it to be like really dark and really edgy. So it's gonna be all blacks and golds and silvers, like mixed metals. I cannot wait for this to be done. This wall actually just went in like a week and a half ago and when I saw it, I lost my mind. Baby, you wanna lead the way? Sure. Lead, lead the way, darling. The this is the powder room. The powder. downstairs powder room. This is the bathroom? Yeah, you're so cute. That's weird, I've never heard that. Before. Yes, this is the, I mean, I've never called it a powder room either, but everyone else has been, so I'm like, okay, maybe I should start calling it a powder room. But this is the down, this is where you take it. To put it more simplistic. We wanted to do golds and whites and grays in this room and I love marble so much so I'm so happy that we incorporated that into this room. All right, now moving into the main area of the house, we have shimmer stone again, which shimmer stone is just like this amazing technique. I watched the guy apply it and it's like, I don't even know how to explain it, but if you can see, it's like, there's just like this texture on the wall and when the light comes in and shines on it in person, it literally just glimmers and just shines. So we have that technique on almost all the walls in the house. And then over here, this is the breakfast area. That's where our like table where we eat, our kitchen table is gonna go every single day that we sit down and eat. Like our dining room table will only use, you know, like on special occasions or when the whole family is over, which is basically every other day. And then this right here is our kitchen which as of now, as you can see, it's torn up. We painted the cabinets a very white white. I wanted it to be a very bright white. And then the backsplash is currently coming in in two days. Yeah, it's gonna be here on Tuesday. So my backsplash is actually like a chevron that has like mother of pearl and like a, a mirror in it. It's so cool. And then I'm doing just white marble. So I cannot wait for that. Look at Georgie. He's just finding a little nook to hang out in. Feel safe, man. What's up, George? What's up? And show them the best part. The best. When we were younger, we would always go to Sonic and we would get <laughs> like their raspberry lemonade. John would call it the Sonic ice. And then I started calling it the bougie ice because they're just like those little tiny round, like crunchy pieces of ice and they're so satisfying to chew on. And I used to always tell John like, one day I'm gonna have an ice machine at our house that has Sonic ice. So I surprised him and talked to the contractor and got this ice machine put into the house and we literally were like screaming, we were celebrating, we were so happy. With these beverages and this ice, this, this is unstoppable. <laughs> this is sacredness. And this is my beauty room straight ahead of us. But first, to the right we have our pool bath which is actually not done yet. This pool bath is being redesigned. This is the one thing that was already like set and settled on when we purchased the house in November. So I couldn't make any changes to it. It's a really, really nice bathroom. It's just not what I want. So all the material for this are going to be in soon. But I did get to choose um, the cabinets being black and this right here, which I believe is, it's not quartz. I don't know. I don't know what this is called. I forgot, but. It's really popular. A lot of people are getting this right now because it's not actually marble, it's more inexpensive, but I can't think of what it's called. Then in here, this is my beauty room closet that me and my sister actually designed together. Where's the light? There we go. Um, sorry about all this stuff in here right now. We went shopping for like new kitchen supplies, so there's kitchen stuff everywhere, but 
This is my beauty room closet that we designed specifically for holding my makeup, my backdrops, my packages, all the stuff I currently have in my beauty room right now. So this over here is where my backdrops will hang, which is so amazing because right now my backdrops are just like scrunched up in balls on the floor, just stacked in boxes. So it's going to be nice to give them like a worthy place of hanging. And then these drawers are so nice. I'm obsessed because they're so wide and they pull out all the way. Like, you know how like when you have like drawers from Ikea, they like stop in here and you have to like reach back to get your makeup. Yes. Like these pull out all the way and then they're like soft clothes. So you can like, oh, oh that's so nice. satisfying. When these first got um, put in here, I stood here and did this for probably like 10 minutes. I just did this over and over. Another closet, that's one of the things that we love so much about this house is there's so much storage because John and I just have a lot of crap all the time. This is my beauty room. This is where I'm going to be filming. So I chose this room basically because it's the perfect room in the house for it, but it has so much amazing natural daylight, which I love with those huge windows. So I'm gonna put this side of the room on the right is gonna be where like my everyday stuff is, like my everyday desk with my everyday vanity. Over here on the left-hand side, this is gonna be like filming central. So I'm gonna have my backdrops. I'm gonna have them hang right here with all my studio lights. And this is gonna be all the filming arena. This room right here, um, I think might be bigger than our old apartment. <laughs> Again, in here, like in the hallway, we have the shimmer stone. And then it goes into like this really, really shimmery ivory wallpaper that has like this texture. And then on this back wall, it's a wallpaper that's actually glass beads. Like, I don't know if you can see it, but you can like hear it. They're little tiny glass beads. It's so shimmery and cool looking. I had so much fun with all the details in this house. I also have shimmer stone on the ceiling in here. You can see a little bit more in that shot how it looks in person. Like it just has like this crazy, shimmery texture effect. We had so many ideas for this room for the first couple of months and we actually landed on making it kind of like a home theater type dealio. Kind of, not really. So basically we're gonna have a huge TV right there and we're gonna just have a bunch of video games, movies, all that jazz. I lost my mind when I saw this wallpaper. It's literally, okay, focus for me camera. It's literally like champagne pop. Champagne pop. <laughs> <laughs> I cannot wait. You guys better believe that as soon as I saw this house, the first thing I thought of was the chandelier that I'm gonna hang right there in the stairway. Like I have literally been finding the perfect chandelier for the past, what, like seven months at this point. And I think I found it. It's actually in the garage and it's being installed this week. All sort of like plumbing stuff still in that shower. But I love these floors so much. I was able to pick out these floors once we were under contract and I think they are so, Freaking cool, like all the different shades of grays and whites and ivories. And this is the guest bedroom right here. So much space in these closets. Like they go so far back, they're so deep. Ooh, that's what she said. <laughs> this is the only room in the whole house that we do not have a purpose for, which is so awesome that we're buying this house and we have room to grow into it because as of right now, we don't have a purpose. And everyone who comes in here is like, yes, you do, it's your baby room. I think that'd be amazing. This is John's pride and joy. Uh -huh. So this is his drum room, which... Nope. Nope, not allowed. No. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Everything in here is... Soundproof. Soundproof. The walls have been soundproofed for John. The floors have been too. Yeah, the floors are soundproofed as well. And the walls are dark gray. And then the trim and the doors are black. And then the ceiling, they're actually putting like this weird, super cool, like textured orange wallpaper on the ceiling because John's favorite colors are orange and black. Then he has his own closet in here. Crazy. John is a very, very, very messy person when it comes to his closet. And so he wanted like his own closet in his own drum room that he can get ready in. Now I know that I keep saying that every single room is my favorite, but this is actually one of my favorites too because I've never had a laundry room before. Um, so that's where our washing machine and dryer are gonna go, where Georgie's on. Apparently it's like a thing with like new homes, they have to like tile the bottom and put a drain in case there's a leak with the washing machine. It'll like catch it and prevent it from flooding your home. I always have my washing wash machine and my dryer just like in a, in a little closet, you know, like how it is in apartments and condos. So I can't believe that I can actually walk into my laundry room, it's so crazy. Then for our master bedroom, you guys, when I walked in here the first time, I lost my mind. It is so big. This is literally... Hands down bigger than our old apartment. Oh my God, this is Hands double down. the size. <laughs> is this not crazy how big this is? Then there's an actual sitting area. 
I love her. I just love how like funky and different it is. And then they put up molding because we're gonna hang curtains back there. And then there's a bar. So our bathroom is still under construction right now because I was making a few changes because there were some things in here that I did not like. Um, but I didn't have a say in them, so I changed them out. So they're wrapping it up right now. So we took the tile all the way to the ceiling right here in the shower. Um, these right here that you see in the back are temporary. They're being replaced in August next month with like a really cool like ombre background. We have Frankie. You wanna give us the tour, bud? This is where we go to the bathroom. It greets us when we walk in. <laughs> that is so bougie. It's so bougie, it's so <laughs> stupid. All right, so now right off of our bathroom, this is hands down. I know I say it about everything, but this is the most exciting part for me because this is my closet, you guys. Oh my God. <laughs> me and my sister worked very closely with California Closets to develop and build this entire thing. Thank God for my sister. This is basically her masterpiece because she's such a mathematician. She was able to like figure out exactly how far apart every single shelf needed to be to hold all of my stuff. So this over here, this wall is for handbags. Oh my God. And then clothes and then shoes, maxi dresses back in the corner. And then we have this big island right here for jewelry and like sunglasses all at the top. And then all of my clothes and stuff down there. Wait for it. <gasps> <laughs> so every single like shelf in this closet does have a light panel, like a light strip across it to make everything light up because I wanted to be able to come in here and have everything illuminated so you can see everything. And honestly, you guys, it's not necessary, but I wanted it, so I got it. I <laughs> love it so much. It is so freaking beautiful. Like, I can't believe this is actually my closet. It is so weird. You guys want to go outside? You want to show in the backyard? Let's go outside. Let's go outside. Come on. I think Frankie's like intimidated by these stairs. The way he walks. Yeah. He's not as comfortable going down with Georgie. Come on, let's go. See, like Georgie just <laughs> runs <laughs> down. And Frankie's like a little nervous by it. Come, Come on, on, bud. Yeah, he's slower. Mm -hmm. So this is our pool. So this right here is like a one foot little seating area with little fountains. And then it steps off into the actual pool. And then over there we have a hot tub. The grass is growing in all kind of like funky right now. They just planted it like a month ago. So it looks kind of like sparse. At first it was like super brown. It's gonna take some getting used to, right? I know. It's gonna take us some getting used to too, bubs. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you soon. Bye.